What is up guys? It is Nick. We are back. Black Desert, back on the channel. It has been 399 days since this video was released on March 25th, 2020. It is now April 28th, 2021, and I have officially come back to console MMORPGs. So the big thing is, is there's some coming out, and so that's what I want to kind of get prepared for. Um, is is those new and upcoming MMOs that are coming out. Um, doesn't mean I'm not going to enjoy what I play on the channel, but that's what we're progressing towards is, is that. So still going to have the weekly update videos every Wednesday because that's what it seems like, you know, they're still on that pattern, so that's what we're going to do. Every Wednesday I'll have, I'll have the patch notes. Um, so let's get into this. We got the patch notes for 428. Um, so we had the update, embrace the power of the Cabela Spear as Sage Awakens, so that's the, obviously I picked a good week because it's the event. This update will also bring PvE balance changes for various classes and additional, or, and additions to the stars and map. Um, so we'll check, we'll check out all the details, but I'm a big fan of PvE, and so, yeah, happy with balances to that. Um, I'm going to be starting a new ser a couple of series on the channel for BDO, so we'll, we'll have all that different stuff. So, Sage Awakens has been added, journey through the story of the one who has returned and unlocked the power of Kibalius weapon to storm your opponents. To awaken the Sage, still the normal, level 56 or higher, um, you do the quest through the Black Spirit, um, and then you do... You have to complete the Sage suggest Succession Meeting of Destiny's questline for Awakening will become available once that quest. So you need to complete this quest before it will unlock the Sage Awakening quest. Monster changes. So we had the Winds of Change are rustling through the land's star's end. The spread of the sickening stench of the Black Star consumes everything around it. Yet, according to reports, the Apostles of Corruption are seemingly giving themselves to the Black Star, sacrificing their lives for some unknown reason. Expect changes to come to the region soon. So I haven't actually made the changes yet, but here in... I would guess they'll probably skip next week, so it'll be the following week they'll make this update, probably. Might be longer, but that seems fair. It'll give them one week of tuning for the Sage release update and all that different stuff, and then they can actually do the updated changes the following week. Change the tracking features so that when the tracking monster is on a category level, only the selected monsters will be highlighted on the minimap. Good. All classes can now summon the Black Spirit while moving. You can summon the Black Spirit while riding on horses, even when using Sprint. However, you cannot summon the Black Spirit while using other skills. Your character will switch to an idle stance. No weapon drawn when summoning the Black Spirit. Um, so they made it a bit easier to summon the Black Spirit. It was particularly annoying to dismount to talk to the Black Spirit during quests. So today's update will allow you to summon the Black Spirit even while mounted. After all, when you really think about it, the Black Spirit isn't so special that we need to get off our horse to talk about talk to it. I think. But Sork, Ranger, Berserker, Musa, Mewa, and Lon have been improved so they can combo skills better while sprinting. That's good. Remember when I used Sork, there would be... There were some skills that when you were, like, running from enemy to enemy, you had to, like, stop, and you had to pause, and then you could do your skill. It was really kind of awkward. Just because we don't have the amount of... We don't have the options and the, the button combos that we can press on a controller compared to, like, a PC, so it just was kind of clunky. So, happy they fixed that. Uh, animations while wearing costumes have been changed to appear more naturally. That's good. Some of the costumes look a little awkward. Um, I don't know. I haven't played in a while, obviously, but from what I remember, they were they were a bit awkward. Uh, Tamer removed the blurring effect while attacking with Highlang. Blurs in games give me a migraine, so happy about that. Good, good, good change. Change the PvE damage and number of, uh, of hits for the following skills. Overall PvP damage. So... I'm not going to go into the actual value increases or anything like that, but they did train. They did change Prime Bolt Wave, all four um, levels, Lightning of Earth, All Around Sniper, Surging Tide, all three, and Upward Claw, all four. Um, they also changed um, Trample and Jolt Wave for Trample. They improved the skill to evenly deal damage within uh, the adjusted area of effect, and Jolt Wave same thing evenly deal damage within the adjusted area of effect um many uh adventurers who play succession tamer use prime whiplash as their main skill we therefore try to improve both prime bolt wave and prime jolt wave uh so the two skills can be used in addition to prime whiplash thus creating a richer and wider first pve gameplay experience well, that's nice instead of you know just singular button mashing which is 
it's not the most fun thing. They made it so that you can combo a little bit more, be more, um, what word am I looking for? Being more active or more uh, Im immersed, I guess. That's not really the right word, but I, don't really, I can't think of the word that I want to have. Okay, so Konoichi. Next one we got is Konoichi. They made all sorts of PvE changes to Konoichi. Um, I just, I'm not going to read all of these. Like always, for the old videos, if you're new to these, I link the articles below in the description. So I'll link this again if you want to look at the exact changes. I'm not going to read, it looks like they made a lot of changes to a lot of characters. So I'm not going to read through all of these. I'll leave the little blurbs at the end. And then if you want to get a little bit more deep dive, I'll, um, you can always just pause it because right there is all the changes to the Konoichi right on the screen right now. Uh, plus the one at the bottom, Chain Crash. But Awakening Konoichi often ends up behind a ends up behind a monster after using her main weapon skills, which makes it inconvenient to switch back to Awakening to I think that's supposed to alleviate the, to alleviate this. We added the no collision while moving effect to half moon slash that the Konoichi could easily attack from behind while in awakening stance. We also increased the PVE damage for her skills, other than lethal spin spree, so that you could continuously deal damage even with the, on cooldown. Okay, so yeah, they did pretty much just a lot of PVE damage changes, which is nice. Ranger, one of my favorite characters that I never really got too invested into. Um, had some buffs as well to their damage, which is very nice. Uh, Rangers Awakening skills are, for the most part, powerful, but they were also designed with long cooldowns. As a result, many adventurers rely on main weapon skills instead of Awakening skills when fighting monsters that required continuous damage dealt over time. To improve, we adjusted the PvE damage of her Awakening skills so that the Ranger could continuously deal damage in hunting grounds with her combos. Uh, next, we have Dark Knight, a little bit so they have a little bit of this one split up. So they have the succession and then they have the awakening. Um, so I'll do it right here and then we'll go over. We increased the PVE damage of Prime Spirit Legacy and increased the PVE damage number of hits and critical hit rate for other key succession skills to be similar to her awakening. This will enable succession Dark Knight to take full advantage of her slow but powerful skills. And then we improved her PVE efficiency without largely altering her awakening skills mechanics. Uh, by increasing the PvE damage of Sea to Catastrophe and Shattering Darkness and the skills that combo from them. We also increased the damage of Unveiled Fate to increase its usefulness compared to other enhanced skills. Striker, it looks like Striker, Witch Wizard, Witch... Oh, it, like, split it. Uh, okay, so there's, like, a Witch Wizard fix, and then there's different fixes for each Witch and then Wizard. Um, and then we had Guardian, Berserker, Sork, Nova. None, none of these got, like, massive changes, but they did get little changes here and there. Uh, so for Sork, when I use a little interested in this, fix the issue where Flow, Soul Reaper would activate first instead of skill when used laterally after certain skills. Fix the issue where using the skill from a high place wouldn't display a falling animation. And fix the issue where using the skill from a low place would display. Okay, so just kind of bug fixes. Musa is the next one that got kind of a big uh, update here. Um, yeah, you can pause to see any of that. Actually, a lot got updated for Musa. Most adventurers playing Succession Musa tend to overuse Prime, Rising Storm, and Hunting Ground, so we adjusted Prime, Gale's Damage. Critical hit rate buff in PvE to address this. We also improved the Serene Mind effects you gain uh, from Prime Carver and Prime Divider. More awakening updates for Musa. Musa got probably the most, as I can, if I can take a guess. We changed the PVE damage and number of hits for awakening skills like Crush, Crust Crusher, Flow Foul Play, which are the representative skills for awakening Musa in general. Now Crust Crusher and Flow Flow Foul Play are stronger than ever, and you can fill the gaps when they're on cooldown with projections and Flow extra credit. Mystic Succession is excellent at combos, but her PvE damage for single skills were lacking in comparison to other classes. To compensate for this, we increased the PvE damage of critical hit rates for some Succession skills, including Prime Thunder Pound, Prime Tornado Kick, and Prime Rage Hammer. Sage got a couple of fixed issues, um, and then we got a couple of content um, updates. You can now select the appearance of your Black Spirit, so... I have a video coming out of me just hopping back on the game and seeing what's different after after a year. Um, so I noticed the difference. I think this is the one that I had the appearance of. I'll probably switch it to like this appearance or this appearance. But you can change the appearance of your um, Black Spirit now uh, if you're level 56 or above. 
Um, the owner of the Luna Hollow Inn, Halo Inn, is looking for skilled cooks to help her feed the sailors pouring into Velia. So we got a new quest, bonus cooking for Valian Sailors 1. Quest has three variants, and you can complete it by talking to Islin Bartali. You receive either high quality hot pepper for times 500, high quality garlic times 500 as a reward for completing the quest. Quest is obtained by chance once you reach a certain cooking level for the dishes specified below. You can reaccept the quest immediately after completing it. So, got to get all of these to this desired cooking level, and it will randomly unlock. I'm sure it's not very difficult to unlock if you have your cooking high enough, but those are all the dishes. However, you cannot accept the following bonus cooking quest if you already have a bonus cooking quest. Okay, so pretty simple. Uh, Note in Conquest Wars, Cardia Elephants have been added to the game. Cardia Elephants at tier, are Tier 2 Elephants, and upon re registering them into the Guild Stable, will acquire one of three skills as Tier 2 Elements have been introduced. G Golden Kaposia Elephant Gear can now be crafted in Guild Houses. Um, quests and Knowledge, qu uh, new quest to obtain a rich, nutritious carrot meal has been added. And it added a new daily quest to obtain a megaphone every day from Ruben the Herald at Calpheon. They made some UI changes, added information regarding the success rates of learning individual skills to show when using uh, Thea's orb to change fairy skills. Um, so they added a feature that will allow you to view the probability of learning each skill, which that's very nice. To change your fairy skill, the probability shown were rounded up to the thousandths, uh, so may not add up to an even 100%. Uh, they fix some different various uh, ecology target functions. Uh, so it saves after changing characters. We've added a function to check for duplicate names. So adventurers can now check to see if there are any pre-existing names before committing. Um, so a lot of system fixes. Other changes down here. Loading screen to include the different characters. Fix an issue where the skirts and capes for Nova and Sage respectively would flutter excessively. And that's always good to fix those things. Uh, just a bunch of, like, um, more, like, quality of life changes here at the bottom. So, that's all for the patch notes. Now we have the different various events. So, first event we're going to go over is Dawn of a New Sage. This event runs, um, actually, this is the wrong, this is the wrong thing. Why do I have this open? Why do I have this open? Wrong, wrong, moving on. <laughs> we are sailors is the first event we need to go over. Um, it begins today, and it runs through May 26th, 25th in the NA, 26th EU, 26th Asia. So, um, setting sail is the event one, and the rewards you get for this, you need to complete event missing cargo, deliver the missing cargo to the Sebastian. Next is gather Serbianka's vouchers. Um, and so the event is Serbia because vouchers times two. Your reward is one log. So it doesn't look like too difficult of a quest. They both run, I guess technically it's two separate events, but it's two quests. I mean, you got to gather Sir Bianca's vouchers for Bianca, for Sir Bianca, but it's, they're essential. They both fall under the We Are Sailors event. And there's two events, event one and event two. They both started today. And they both run to the same dates, the 25th in the NA, 26th in EU and Asia. So, moving on to the next one, we have Patrio's Big Sale. So, running from today through, well, technically it was yesterday. I mean, it's yesterday's maintenance, so it's it's like today. Okay, let's, it's like today. It runs until May 12th uh, in the EU and Asia and May 11th in the NA. I'm just going to say the NA date, just add a day, and that's the EU and Asia from now on um boss gear available at uh patrigio's secret shop that's nice various boss gears um uh, for sale uh that'll be pretty pretty nice uh 50 energy cost um but eventually we'll have three times higher chance of being offered boss armor gear for sale of course which this will be this will be nice um pretty nice event nothing crazy for the event it's just kind of a it's just, just an event where he has boss gear on sale and uh, there's, yeah, he just has a big sale going on. Um, next is event lightning, not frightening. Uh, this runs from the same times as the other event and the event is source of lightning defeat monsters. Um, that's the first event. Um, the next event is to help or to steal and it runs the same days as well. Um, there'll be a goblin, 
Please help any rather skill looking, still looking goblins that you encounter. Yes, the goblin has a bag filled with gold. And yes, the goblin probably won't notice that the bag is gone. But adventurers will surely help the goblin. No. So I'm assuming you have like a choice to help or not help the goblin. And you can get the gold. I mean, touch the goblin's flag, clap so that the goblin will come too. Not really sure how this event works, but interesting. I'm guessing it's probably take a straight gold. Let's see. And over Shakatu's merchant certificate. Ah, okay. So if you touch the goblin's bag, you'll get a goblin bag. And if you collapse it, the goblin will come to you. You get a Shakatu's merchant certificate. Um, if you turn in Shakatu's merchant certificates to Shakatu, you'll get 10 gold bars, which then you can turn into a gold bar box. And it will give you one of these various things when you open it. Um, does it tell you the goblin's bag? So it's kind of a gamble. The goblin randomly obtained one of the following from the event goblin bag. You can get one of these. So you're probably better off to help the goblin. Yeah, it looks like you're way better off to help the... Eh, yeah, yeah, you're probably better off to help the goblin. If that's the exact exchange rate. Then... Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, it should be, it should be better to help it if my math is correct, which I think, I think it is. Event three, do you smell what the charred rock is cooking? Um, pretty much just an hour event quest, um, during the event period earned by spending time in the world. I mean, pretty simple. It's just, an, it's just a timed event thing. And then that's what you can trade them in for pretty pretty simple <laughs> just get on and play and you're gonna get three of those for three hours of play uh one will get you crone stone three will get you valk's cry and then if you want to save up a ton you can get all of these various things mostly advice of the valks or kafra stone bundles so that's all for that event that's the lightning not frightening event and then finally we have the awaken sage special attendance rewards so this will run tomorrow well today today late today I, well it's actually happening well i th actually i think it happens in like two hours from when i'm recording this because i think i think they're on pacific time if i'm not mistaken they might i'm on eastern time but they might be on pacific not quite sure doesn't matter sometime today it starts and these are your 21 days of rewards skill preset coupon agent spirit dust um Anything crazy. The advice of the bulk is decent. Get a pet. Find accessory box two is fairly good. Um, yeah, there's some decent stuff for this. Probably the best is the fine accessory, unless things have changed. Eh, advice of the bulk plus 100 might be, might be better. It's close. I don't know. It depends on what you're trying to do in the game. I might also be wrong. Might be a little bit different from when I played to what's important and what's not but we'll i'll we'll learn eventually um i'll learn eventually what's what's best and what's not but that's gonna do it for the first update video fairly big update today i'm gonna have these whether there's just a simple little like snippet patch notes every wednesday you can expect this every wednesday i'm gonna get this out um i'm gonna have a video of me advancing my sork still i don't want to give up yen so we're gonna still play that sork and then I'm going to have a brand new series, kind of like a, I don't know, playing Black Desert a year after, or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what I'm going to title it. I got to figure that out. I got a couple of days because I have a couple of videos still to upload after this one for Thursday and Friday. So on Saturday, you'll get probably a Sork video, and then Sunday we'll start the brand new uh, playthrough, whatever it's going to be. I have no idea what it's going to be right now. I don't even know what character I'm going to pick. I got to figure all that out. But hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions, any console MMOs you want to see, or anything like that. If you want me to bring back Final Fantasy, it's not getting brought back. I don't, I don't think that's getting brought back. I don't have the dedication for Final Fantasy XIV anymore. So, so that's so. But blessed uh, uh, was the other one, Fantasy Star Online Two, PSO Two. Um, anything like that you want to see, let me know, and I'll uh, do my best. Um, I do work a much more time consuming job now i work like 32 hours a week instead of what i used to work was like 18 and i also do a lot more 
uh, sports betting than I ever have. So that consumes a lot of my time. But I'm going to play Black Desert in my free time. And so I'm going to try to get back into this guy for you all and for myself because there's a bunch of new MMOs, RPGs coming out. And I want to be able to upload videos for them. But I got to get back into this at least before I even attempt to to put out daily content for those but goal is daily videos i'll do my best hope to see you all there catch you guys later peace